If you stay only where you're comfortable and do only what you know, you won't last long. This is true of us humans in our organizations trying to reach goals in a complex environment. It's also true of foraging animals looking for food in the wild. I'm Rich from Let's Go and I recently found myself digging around in the work of behavioral ecologists who model and study foraging behavior. And there is some wisdom that maybe we can apply back to work. One key consideration for foraging animals is what's called the explore-exploit trade-off. It's the choice between exploiting a familiar option where you know what you're going to get or exploring something new where what you're going to get is unknown or uncertain. It's a trade-off because you have to choose how to balance between these two orientations. Scientists use mathematical modeling to find the optimal solutions to particular foraging problems. As an example, patch leaving is about when you stop exploiting a declining food source to go exploring for a new one. Research shows that animals by instinct often follow these optimum patterns. But it seems to me that in human organizations, we aren't always so connected to our instincts. And in fact, a lot of our organizations are the industrialization of one side of this trade-off, exploiting what we know often at the expense of exploring new things. You see, we think that to be good at our jobs, we need to know how things work and efficiently optimize for that. We give status and priority to those who know and we gravitate towards leaders who project certainty and confidence that they know. But if there's something to learn from animals foraging, it's that this trade-off always goes wrong when it's out of balance. And when animals overemphasize exploiting and stop exploring for something new, things unfold in a fairly predictable way. They get stuck in a rut. They form habits that are hard to break when the situation changes. And this is bad news because in any ecosystem, things always change. The arrival of a new predator, a new parasite, a shift in the weather, and getting stuck in habit dampens both your motivation and your ability to explore. And when you're in a rut, you lose the lay of the land. You see, we only ever deeply understand our environment by exploring it. Without exploring, our knowing becomes out of date pretty quick, especially if things are changing fast. Sharp animals that don't explore find themselves blunt. Stuck in a rut and with out of date knowledge. Sound familiar? Ever notice this in our organizations, in ourselves? Even though you can, of course, over explore, my sense is that we need to recognize the value in exploring more knowing that yes, it is less efficient in the short term, but it leaves us healthier, richer, more resilient in the long term. A 2019 paper describes a deep statistical analysis of the flower sampling patterns of bumblebees, and they actually released individual bees and tracked their movements. And the findings struck me as useful for humans too. An experienced bumblebee learns the best foraging routes through cycles of exploitation and exploration. So, they first go somewhere where they know what they're gonna get, and then they explore into the unknown before returning to where they know, before heading out into the unknown again. In each loop, they're productive, but they're also expanding their field of expertise, always taking manageable risks in order to strengthen for the long term, but never overexposing themselves, and always investing in the accumulation of wisdom that only comes from exploring new things. A question for all of us is where might we invest a bit more in the exploration as we buzz about our work?